about 10 years ago, when I first got married, first got out of college, I moved here to Midland for a job at a church. We got married in New Year's, and then we ended up moving here, I think it was the first week of March. We were freshly married. We had no jobs for a couple weeks, and so we were really excited to get hired. I studied theology and church ministries, and so I was really excited to use my degree. And I have a ton of experience in youth ministry. We were super excited, so we moved to Midland, and parentheses, I come from West Texas. My dad's family, my grandma lives in an even smaller town called La Mesa. I have family here in Midland. My tia Maya lives here. And so it was really cool to move to a new place, but where I was familiar with it, I had some roots. And so, yeah, we move into this very old crappy apartment for $1,600 a month because again, it, people are making so much money here that the cost of living is super high. And so we move in without seeing, the church helps us put a down payment in, helps us move in. And we're really excited to have our first jobs, to be married, to be youth pastors, to be using and our degrees and yeah this is what we wanted and so we move here with all this excitement all this joy all this new energy and it's a great time we're doing really well doing a lot of cool things at the church with the youth group i want to say that in the first month or two we doubled the youth group i had a friend come out we did a big event it was a ton of fun i was living the dream living my best life and what could go wrong? What could go wrong? And then about two or three months in, I can't remember the timeline, my wife and I did a huge, we did a vacation, two week road trip to go marry one of her best friends. And we drove all the way to Niagara Falls and back. Very cool trip. And then we returned and then not even a week or two later, the pastor walks in my office, gives me a week's paycheck and says, it's not working out. We've been here maybe three months. I thought I was doing the best job I could do and I just get let go. Funny side note, I text my wife that I had just gotten let go and a weird group chat with her and my other friend Taylor. So he found out right away as well. It was a weird, hard time. The same month that I got laid off from my job, our first car payment came in. We had just gotten a new car. Our rent was due and our first student loan debts came in. And so we're living in a new city with really expensive rent, thinking we have our dream job and dream situation. And it all just comes crashing down. And over the next six to nine months, we stay here, Alyssa, uh, has a job and it's paying her well, so we decided to stay here. But I went through a very heavy depression. I remember specifically at one point getting on the floor of our apartment and laying down and telling Alyssa, what if I give up on God? What if I stop believing in all of this? None of this is working out. And it was during that time that I met these three guys and their wives Tyler, Danny, and Olaf. And we became friends with them and we started going to their church. We started going through their small group. And I don't know if they knew how terribly depressed I was. Maybe I was, I was probably talking about it all the time, honestly. But through their friendship and their time and dinners together, they helped me get out of that depression. They helped me face that season a very difficult season, maybe one of the toughest that I've ever faced. And it reminds me of that quote, friends come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And in that season, 10 years ago, I really needed friends. And these guys, I don't know if they did it on purpose. I feel like they met together and were like, let's really help this guy. He's so depressed, he's so sad. 
but that's what they did and that's what it felt like. And so here I am back in Midland. I've gotten to see Olaf and Danny. We live really far away from each other now, but it's so beautiful when people come into your life for a season and they help you out of that season. So I was super depressed, super down. And 10 years later, here I am still in church, still with my wife, still trying to love Jesus and still friends with these guys. And though we're not best friends and we don't see each other all the time or talk all the time, it's been really cool to be back in Midland 10 years later to reminisce about all of this, about how in that moment and in that time, it felt like the end of the world. And time helps us, but not only time, but people. And I really needed those three guys and their wives to help me pull me out of that hole that I felt like I could never get out of. I thought I would never work in church again. I thought I was done. I felt so sad and so depressed. And it was through friendship that the worst moment felt doable. And in the best times, it felt even better. And so Danny, Olaf, Tyler, and your wives, thank you so much for being with me and my wife through that season. And now everybody's married and lives in different places. And again, we don't talk all the time, but it was their friendship and that season that made me be able to walk out of that alive. Thank <laughs> you.